Yo, what is going on YouTube? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing out there today, man? So today we're going to be checking out the fifth dimension Aquarius. Let the sunshine in. All right. Don't know much about this song. I did a Cal Sills uh, song and I was told, hey, now check out. Uh, I, I think they did a cover of Hair, which is from uh, the musical. I want to say it's called a Broadway musical Hair. And people said it was a very big moment, a very big thing that was happening at the time with Hair, right? Hair was kind of uh, the way that you stood up, uh, counterculture kind of thing. Uh, it was more than hair, okay? It was a statement uh, that was being made at the time, a movement, if you will, and there was a Broadway musical about it, and the Broadway musical was also a bit groundbreaking because I understand there was nudity, right? Uh, and things like that happening in the play, things that just were so controversial at the time. So let's go ahead and jump into this, the fifth dimension. I want to say maybe this was a part of that Broadway musical, not too sure you guys can feel me on, on that, but let's jump into this one, Aquarius, let the sun shine in, at least maybe the songs were not necessarily what we're going to watch right here, so let's go ahead and jump into this one, okay? Getting this thing going. Straight 
so good. That was so good, bro. All right, man. Man. That's that was an interesting flip. You know, we come in on Aquarius and I'm listening and I'm loving uh the the way they sing, especially when they start saying Aquarius, right? The chorus of that section. But it feels a little bit like psychedelic. I don't know. Psychedelic music kind of remind me of a little bit. Um, so we're enjoying that first half, and it's definitely on the lower mellow uh tone, but it's got its own I don't know, it's got its own little chorus, its own little things that are working for it, man. You feel that that transition happen immediately, and you're like, okay, this has to be the next song that I saw up there, let the sun shine in. Dude, immediately the vibe just explodes. It hits like a gospel kind of feel, but I don't know, man. There's just some songs just make you want to throw your hand up and feel it, and, and it's just let it in, invite it in, man. It's soaring. Um, the backing vocal slash harmonies that are happening, dude, they're just uplifting. He is hitting you uh, with that raspy chanty. Come on, guys. Feel it. Let it in. Feel better. Doesn't matter what happens. Just get it. That bass line is seriously popping off at that point, man. The music is rising, and you just, you're left on this high, right? You just, man, there's some moments in music that just shoot you up to the stars, man. That was it. That was the one. Let the sun shine in. Ah, oh, man, it got me feeling good. Got me feeling high on life, dude. I, I love those moments, right? It's just, you don't know when you're going to, especially you're hearing stuff for the first time, you don't know what's going to hit you like that. This one just hit me, man, lifted me up. Loved it, man. All right, so learning a little bit about the medley, Aquarius Let the Sunshine In, it also says The Flesh Failures. Uh, this was released in 1969, considered psychedelic soul, sunshine, pop, bubblegum pop. Um, there's a 4 minute, 49 second version, which is the album version okay and it looks like that's what we got i was double checking on that one man the lyricist on this one is james uh rado arado and jerome ragney okay so the medley uh commonly called uh, aquarius let the sun shine in the age of aquarius or let the sun shine in is a medley of two songs written for the 1967 musical hair uh by james rado and, and jerome ragney okay and um it was released as a single by the american r&b group the Fifth Dimension. The song spent six weeks at number one in the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 Pop Singles Chart in the spring of 1969 and was eventually certified platinum in the U.S. Um, instrumental backing was written by Bill Holman and provided by session musicians, um, commonly known as the Wrecking Crew. There you go, man. You got the Wrecking Crew making that popping sound. Oh, well, for the session, at least. The, the instrumental backing was written, actually, by Bill Holman, it's saying. Okay. So uh, the recording was led by veteran American producer and engineer Bones Howe, who had previously worked with the Fifth Dimension as well as the Mamas and the Papas and Elvis Presley. As Howe tells it, the recording can be traced to an incident in which Fifth Dimension lead singer Billy Davis Jr. left his wallet in a New York City cab. The man who found the wallet was involved with the production of Hair and invited the group to see the show. After they seen it, I received a phone call in which they were talking over uh, one another saying we've got to cut this song aquarius it's the best song ever how was skeptical this isn't a complete song it's an introduction but after seeing the show on stage got the idea to create a medley with another musical moment from the show a few bars from the song the flesh failures that consists of repeated words let the sun shine in although the two song fragments are in different keys and tempos how resolved to jam them together like two trains so really throughout this whole thing You've got Bones Howl to thank for this specific medley. Okay, these things existed separately. He he found a way to stitch this all together to make what we just heard right now. It was all con uh, conceived in his mind. So that is awesome, man. Uh, a, le a veteran as well, it says. So very cool, man, Mr. Bones Howl. Let's learn a little bit about Fifth Dimension right here. The Fifth Dimension are out of Los Angeles, California. Okay, they're also known as the Versatiles. Um, it's saying, I want the Versatiles. That might be a name that's been requested on this channel. I don't know for sure. Maybe I'm getting confused with another group. But uh, so they've been known as the Versatiles and their years active from 1966. They are in some form still going today. It says present until 1975 in original incarnation. So their, their original incarnation stopped in 1975. They're still present today in some form or fashion but i don't know exactly what 
in what way. Okay, so here we go. This one was highly uh, suggested and recommended on my last video that I did from the musical Hair, I guess, uh, which would be the Cal Sills version of one of the songs, Hair, itself. So thank you for that. If there's more that you want me to check out from this group, please let me know, man. Thank you guys for putting me onto this one. This thing was bumping and fun to get into and, and really a spirit riser, man. This is a spirit riser of a song. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, please consider becoming a member here on my YouTube or Patreon for as little as three bucks, guys. It's an amazing way to support me. I don't think we've had a new channel member in like three weeks. So if you want to be the first to break that, man, I'd appreciate that. All right. Here on YouTube, at least. All right. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace.